When it comes to establishing your worldview, I was curious, what newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world. read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what coming, ones specifically? I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have, have been in front of me over all these years. Um, I, have a a I have a vast variety of sources. Where we I made the case to her that, in my view, the reason that that interview was a failure was because she did not prepare for it. Uh, she was focused that morning on answering 10 written questions from a small newspaper in Alaska called the Matsu Valley Frontiersman. So the morning of the Katie Kirk interview, she wasn't focused on the Katie Kirk interview. She was thinking about this questionnaire from a, a small local newspaper? Absolutely. She has said herself, you know, since she could have done a better job there. And I made the point that she's not the first politician to have had a bad interview that we needed to move on. She has said that she felt the Katie Couric interview was, she thought Katie Couric was kind of going for gotcha questions and uh, making unfair assumptions. I think that there is legitimate grounds to criticize the media coverage, both of Governor Palin and of the campaign in general. Um, I will go to my deathbed believing that Senator McCain was covered as unfairly in this race as you could possibly be covered. The media as a whole was in love with Senator Obama and with the prospect of him becoming president of the United States. That being said, I don't think that Katie Couric asked a single unfair question in that interview. Sarah Palin just wasn't prepared. She was not prepared for the interview because she didn't prepare for the interview.